Ready to do this thing? Yep. So over the past two years, we've had a tough time milking Dolly. Oh, okay, first kick of the day. The only safe way we found to do it has been to tie one of her legs to the post to keep us from getting kicked in the head. Oh, oh come on. Is that fun? Do you like milking? Now we've had a number of suggestions using hobbles on one leg or maybe two, lifting a leg up so they would lose their balance with a kick, using a bull lead on the nose, yeah, I thought that was a strange one too. And even a bar on one side of the cow. But I found something that I like a little better. Let's see if it works. So today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Two months ago, they sent us a mattress, the cooling cover, and two pillows, all in a couple boxes. Oh, there it goes. Oh boy, here it comes. It's filling up air. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently ship right to your door. It's already, it's already all filled up as soon as we opened it. To order a Helix Sleep mattress, use the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. And based off our results, Helix matched us with their Helix Sunset mattress. I'm a side sleeper and so I like soft mattresses and I share the bed with one and a half people. And we upgraded to the Glaciotex cooling cover because I am always burning up in the bed and this thing always keeps me cool. We've had this mattress for two months now and it's so comfortable. I just love sinking into it. We have to kick the kids out of it most of the time. With your Helix sleep mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty and there are financing options and flexible payment plans. I love my Helix and I know you will too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. So just click on the link in the description or go to helixsleep.com slash W-H-O-T-H for $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Hey, where'd you guys all come from? Hi, Bella. All right, so we're heading in to milk the cow. I wanna show you the new tool that we got. This tool right here is called the Cow Can't Kick. Some of you guys suggested hobbles, a little chain and thing that hook on the back of the legs. We really just don't wanna put ourselves in that position where we're down by our legs. We've already been tying up one of her legs and it's a little scary getting it on and off. And so this one, we were pretty excited about, comes over top of Dolly, tightens up right here, squeezes in a little bit, and supposedly they can't kick or they don't wanna kick with it on. So let's see if it works today. This is our Elasti milk machine. It's going on our third year of using this and it's doing really well. We've replaced little things here and there, a little silicone and lid for this, but for the most part, it's been working pretty outstanding and we get a lot more milk with this than by hand milking. And I... Oh, and you guys have helped with our, with naming her. So we'll let you know here at the, somewhere towards the end, what we're gonna call her. Most days we just tie up down at her ankle and then tie it to this board. It keeps one leg from kicking, but she can still kick with the other leg. So let's try this on here, see how she does. Okay, so fit over nicely. I'm gonna crank this and that's gonna tighten up right around here. So right here. Do you need to move her legs before you do that? Or? She should be able to move. She should just not be able to kick. Oh, okay. Now, where do I need to have it in position? Right there. Double check the other side that it's right behind this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right behind her leg. What I'm not sure about is how tight to get it. I think this will work. Yeah. Uh, worth a shot. It's pushing in right there, so she can't bring this leg forward too far, if at all. Really dirty? So dirty. Tell the cap that's on this one. It's a least full. So after bringing her in, we always use soapy water, clean off her teeth as much as we possibly can, all the manure, mud, and then we have this iodine teat dip that we use, sterilizes the teeth, and then we wash that off with some more soapy water. So I get some milk out, stripping the milk, getting the milk flowing a little bit before we put the milker on. That's a true test right here. She hates me touching this one. So if she doesn't kick when I'm touching this one, 
means it's working. Now, when I put the milk machine on, she does all right usually, but by the end of it, she's already getting antsy and I think it starts to pinch on some of her teats and she'll start kicking to get it off because she's getting annoyed being in here. So let's see if we can get through this milk session. Oh, she tried. She just tried to kick with that leg. Couldn't move it up. Yay! So how was that, Jake? Oh my goodness, that was so much better. Like she tries to move the leg, she's trying to pee and normally she'll come up and start peeing and pooping when she gets agitated being in here and she couldn't even move her body, her legs around to maneuver to do that. So she couldn't figure that out. She couldn't kick when she got annoyed with the milk machine. So wow, that was a great first experience with that. So there's one of these cow can't kick deals that you'll see that's cheaper that only covers one side. It goes from the upper part of the back and then down around the side. And it's cheaper, but I definitely think this one is worth it to get one that goes from the top, goes over each side, because that one's only gonna prevent one leg from kicking, this one prevent both. We have a problem with her on both sides, so this is gonna work out really great for us. So cow can't kick, it works. Now Becky's loosening it. Just lift it up. And then we can just lift it up once it's, you might have to go a little more, you'll see. Hang on, watch out, don't get kicked. All right, so we're gonna go get the rest of the chores done, and then we'll come back and introduce you to our new calf. So normally our peacock is over here. We're doing a little bit of a, we're doing a little project with him and hopefully have an update about that next week. So stay tuned for that. Right now we're doing all the feed. We've already come around with the water, so take care of all the birds after the cow's done. You gonna eat it? No. All right, so we've made it through the Indio Gantes, the pigs, the turkeys, the Bantam flock, the, the young chickens. Now we're at the, the main flock here. <laughs> Pretty easy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, your defense against the roosters. Let's go, buddy. Got your goggles on? Yes. All right, roosters won't hurt you, all right? Okay. So it's 75 degrees on November 9th. This is pretty awesome, but it's gonna be freezing, I think, in a day or two. So last really good day for the bees to be out. So after we're done with our morning chores, our milking, 
then we have to come in and sort out all the milk. And this takes a little while because we have so much of it to sort. We've got yesterday's milk. We've got our cream line right there, right there. And so we've got to take the cream out and then put the milk into smaller jars, easier for us to, to use it each day. And then here is all of our milk from today that we've got to pour into these jars after we clean them up. Today's milk, I'm gonna filter it. So running the filter, it gets out any of the hairs, any dirt, anything that's in the milk that will, it'll catch it. So it keeps it from being in there when we're ready to drink it. And the second one I can pour on the date it and then we put it in the fridge to cool off. Now we're gonna separate the cream from the milk. How are you gonna do that? With this. So we got a ladle and the cream separates from the milk as it sits so you could just scoop it right off the top. We have a cream separator but I find this just as easy. Less things to clean. That's the biggest thing and we don't have the space to put it out on the counter so this works just as well. I can tell the cream like. What do we use for our cream, Eli? Why do we separate it? Butter, milk, or no, no butter, yogurt. Me and Jake like our coffee, so we love coffee creamer. We can't have coffee without coffee creamer. We separate our cream, so we can make coffee creamer, we make butter, we make ice cream. We don't mind the cream in the milk, but need the cream for that stuff. So. Around the edge, edge of it's really good. Cool. Then we pour it into just smaller jars. So we can have my big gallon jars back and kids can handle the smaller ones better. This is our milk and cream from the last three days. So, go a lot. So we got so many good recommendations from you guys on names. Of course, the most popular was probably Daisy because Dolly plus Maisie, but we thought that was gonna be a little confusing. confusing. And so we, we like some of the other names. There was a, a Mitzi, there was a Rosie. We just can't do that one, even though Becky said she was very red. I'm red. At birth, we like that one, but she's got a relative named that, so that one's off the table. So Becky, why don't you introduce them to our new calf? So we went with Poppy. Meet our little calf, Poppy. She'll be back with her mom right now, but it's all right. It's all right. <sighs> it's a little Poppy. Somebody is, I don't know. Who. So this machine is amazing because you can clean it right away. You don't have to take it inside, take it apart, clean it. You actually just run it in soapy water. Swish warm soapy water around in here, clean it out, re-rinse it out, set it upside down to dry, and it's ready to go for tomorrow. And we had just poured the milk out. Got a full jar today. This is a two and a half gallon bucket, plus we have another half gallon. So getting about three gallons a day. That's a ton.